The move up for Beaudoin. The trade for two veterans. Utah Hockey Club's Bill Armstrong was wheeling and dealing. Being aggressive and using assets collected over the past few seasons, this team's ready to take the next step and make some noise in the playoffs with players like Josh Stone, Logan Cooley, Connor Ingram coming on late in the season. The time is now. I like our odds. I think we got, we got a young, fun group that wants to win and that's battled together and, and been through those ups and downs, and, and that's kind of where you have to be if you want to win. you, you got to battle through adversity a little bit, and the momentum coming into a new city is something you got to take and ride as, as far as you can, and... I think we're all excited to take advantage of that and, and build off of it. Well, Armstrong, he captained a draft effort that included 11 total selections for the Utah Hockey Club, including nine on Saturday. Some of the more notable day two selections were Will Skehan and other defensemen taken at number 65, followed by defenseman Tomas Lavoie. Picks three through six for the Utah Hockey Club. In fact, all defenders, which kind of makes sense. Defense was their weakest trait from this past season. Now, the Arizona Coyotes allowed the eighth most goals in the NHL last season, and they were just as bad on the penalty kill, also eighth worst in the league. Yeah, so there was a lot of intent behind those day two picks. Help this team get better. I think it puts us in a step to be a better team than, than last year. I'm not sure if uh, in your fourth year of going to the rebuild and totally taking it down and bringing it back that you can get there. But it's, it's a step in the right direction. They're so young. And by Christmas time, maybe in the next 12 months, we'll know kind of who stole guys in the draft. And we just take shots at guys we think have good, good upsides. Oh, I feel awesome. Uh, and then, honestly, uh, I, I didn't have pressure this morning, but it felt awesome to hear my name for the first time. It's the NHL now. It's the big things. Uh, I'm just happy, and uh, I enjoy the moment now. Oh, it was, it was unreal. Uh, I was shaking. I, I couldn't... Uh... The feeling was unreal. So being in this sphere and just being in this whole situation is so amazing. So I'm just so thankful. I think what we're seeing a little bit more now is you see the spraying of the draft in the second round where the lists are so different from each other. So you know, in, in a way, every player is a little bit of a steal for you because you, they, you have them higher than they go. I don't think there's one player that really stands out on that, but it's just you're, you're excited to get the guys where you have them uh, because you usually have them a little bit higher on your list.